Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, um, second rover in this rover mission, um, first one, uh, is hanging out down here, as you can see. I really think, um, landing somewhere in this area would probably be a little bit better. Uh, what I'm going to do now is... I think I'm going to start my burn somewhere around here, and then I should, or at least maybe somewhere around here, and then I should be alright. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to get rid of all of this. I'm just going to deorbit everything. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really a big fan of, like, keeping space clean, I guess. I'm not one of those kind of people that, uh, you know, is like, oh, well, you, you should deorbit all your junk and everything else. I mean, I do have debris set to zero, so the minute that stuff like this gets decoupled, it's instantly gone from the game in my eyes, but that's just me. So I'm going to deorbit basically this entire thing. So it, I'm going to bring this over. Let's speed it up a little bit. I'm going to start my burn. Let's see. Um... We gotta start a little bit ahead, so I think somewhere around right here I'm just gonna start, even though this is still way too far. Uh, just bring this up. Wow, I got my hands on the wrong keys, as usual. Now this thing is gonna, I think it's gonna lose a lot of stability once, uh, once we start losing mass here um this this uh launcher or whatever you want to call it it really all right get rid of that yeah you can see we already we um it's not very stable as it is right now but you know we have a really massive engine and you know this is the poodle engine so oh my god no the the poodle engine itself is actually really good for I think like everything as far as um, this game is concerned a little bit but um, you know there's a lot of people out there that would probably wouldn't agree so much so let's transfer this out I want to have a full tank when I leave that would be nice and as you can see I mean we already missed our landing site by like an insane amount but whatever uh, you know, it's Eve. I'm not too concerned. This is looking pretty good to me, and I'm pretty much okay with the way it is right now. I wonder where all this RCS fuel is coming from. It really doesn't seem like it's burning a lot. Now, I'm just hoping that uh, we don't end up... Whoa. Oh, my God. Kill the engines. Yeah, like I said, it's not very stable anymore. With the two rovers on there, it was perfectly stable, but removing one instantly screwed everything up, so. It looks like we're going to get close to the water, otherwise, if not, definitely end up in the water, so. Let's see, um what we'll get with this. I'm probably going to let it let it bleed out a little bit. I, I, otherwise I'll do a burn pointing straight up. That should help us out a little bit, but not much because it's Eve. Whoa, God. Let's see. Uh, bring this up. Yeah, Eve's um, atmosphere creates, like, an intense amount of drag, and, yeah, you're, like, basically screwed um, as far as when it comes to basically just taking off or landing. I was really hoping that they didn't remove that part that I was talking about, um, that, that, that part of the geography where you can land and actually take off from very easily. And they ended up removing it, and yeah, not too happy about that. So let's decouple this thing. See you later. <laughs> it's just flying on its own. Wow. Uh, we'll get these engines on. Um, I'll deploy the chute too while we're at it. There we go. 
slow her down a little bit and I'll deploy this shoot and this one and this one I have to do it all manually guys because uh, for some reason it didn't get set up correctly when I uh, built this craft I really don't know what happened with it but where'd that other piece go where is it is it it didn't just disappear did it I, I guess so um otherwise I think it just crashed into the surface I think that was the fate of that piece so you can see we're a little bit further away from our first landing site not not too much but I kind of want to land in an area I mean this is a pretty decent area and you know it's got the whole lake right next to it and everything else the lake of whatever kind of substance that is and all right now I was thinking I mean I could basically just burn off all this fuel as we're landing it'd be it'd make more sense to burn off some of that fuel right now only because as we get closer and everything else it's less weight so I'm gonna keep some of it though to get rid of this core though because because the first one we didn't do that and that was one of the things I think I should have done but whatever but yeah there was no moving that piece that thing was just adamant about staying right where it was at I mean the surface itself it looks relatively flat I mean it you can see that there's like slight lines in the surface and stuff like that where they're trying to make it a little bit more uh, you know have the the train change a little bit as you travel and move around but all right we just lost a bunch all right we lost our dread shoot or whatever it was I don't know what happened there not good stuff that's all I can say uh, let's see hopefully we don't just smash into the surface with this thing that really wouldn't be a good thing I don't know how that shoot we just lost that shoot completely that, that was, it was really weird Oh, that's the other thing, too. I guess I should have noticed. Uh, where is it? Um, I, I, I don't see it. I, I guess it's gone. The whole core, or whatever it was, is gone. Oh, there it is. It's way up there. That That is really weird. It ripped off that part right there. That that one is the dread shoot, and it has a... Um, basically, the probe core... Or the core for this thing um, in that so it's gonna make landing difficult or well I'm not even landing but basically separation and my frame rate is just taking a crap right now my frame rate is taking a really big poop right now I, I don't know what's going on I guess looking out over all this terrain is doing it Looking this way does it, but looking this way is okay. Which I'm thinking looking this way towards the water is what's doing it, so. Oh my god, this descent's taking forever. And there you have it. There's our second rover. Um, the area of the, of the terrain that I was looking for doesn't exist, at least not anymore so you know that's this is like basically the best we can get so. all right so what I'm going to do this is gonna be really tricky so let's see um start this up a decouple there we go that really wow <laughs> oh that was fun and we destroyed a wheel on it too. See, that's the best part about having six wheels. If you lose one, it's not that big of a deal. We need a Kerbal down here to fix it. Like now. Where's that other piece? 
it's still floating up there so what I'm gonna do is whoa we just took off from there uh, I'm gonna I guess right now uh, we're only left with one panel and that's pretty much as good as we're gonna get from now on and I'm basically just going to recharge this thing and then pull the panel in and then drive for a little bit and once the battery gets low pull stop it and you know basically do repeat process over and over and over again so all right this is where's the front of this thing see it's got two um, of these satellite cores on it when I initially designed it I only wanted one so I, I don't know what happened with that but this thing it, it's pretty fast it's pretty fast for a little rover but the losing of one wheel kind of sucks a little bit but you know overall this terrain seems like it's relatively uh, wow and you can stop going pretty fast too that's not bad this train seems relatively flat and I mean I'm okay with how it is that thing is still up there Jesus uh, okay well I, I guess it's not perfectly flat but you get what I'm saying uh, I think I might end up landing someplace randomly uh, the main landing site that I really wanted just didn't turn out so that was the the site that I really wanted was that 11 kilometer high plateau that they have or they used to have on Eve so and the fact that that's gone now I think I'm either gonna have like a waterfront location at least try to as you guys can see from my, both of my landings it really didn't turn out that well yeah see this is um, this is all that the stretch shoot or whatever it's just it's not even letting it this thing should land without a problem completely without a problem oh now I'm in the atmosphere so I can't switch uh, that's that's just cheap Kerbal well anyways guys um, you know this mission wasn't a complete success but I mean we did land we did get to explore a bit and we did get to you know look around and kinda see everything and that was the the main point of doing all of this so I, I really wanted to just land and find the site that I really wanted to land at so now I think I might end up just sending something anywhere uh, I do know for future reference that I will not be putting uh, you know uh, what is it the uh, satellite or uh, not the satellite but the uh, wow I'm like tongue-tied right now no, uh, I will not be putting the solar panels, the deployable ones, I'll just put the ones that you actually mount on rovers because it just destroys them, so yeah, no more of those, and uh, yeah, so anyways guys, our next mission will be sending the EVE, uh, the EVE base to EVE, obviously, um, yeah, it, it's been a little bit, uh, hectic as far as this rover mission and stuff like that but hopefully I mean I'm gonna change designs a little bit because obviously I'm not going to be able to use regular solar panels so I'm gonna have to change out some stuff anyways guys thank you for watching if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come and I will see you next time